Welcome everybody, my name is Mallow, and this is Earthbound. In the last episode, we broke open the entire world. And in this episode, we are going to finally go up this mysterious ladder with Jeff dead. My favorite thing in life is when Jeff dies. Oop. You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I'm happy to carry. Carrying something to eat. What would you like? A croissant. We've already seen it. Recovers a decent amount of HP. Calorie stick is basically the same as a croissant. We've already seen cups of coffee. There's a village with many... Interesting people just ahead. Oh, awesome, it's my high school. You should go there and visit. I heard that the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. This is really loud. Give me a second. That's much better. Ooh, magic butterfly, come on, give me, give me, restore my PP, I need it. The magic butterfly made Ness and Paula relax. Yes, I needed more. So, I don't know what that voice was for. Honestly, this is actually a really... I love this area of the game, just this Grapefruit Falls. There's a bomb inside! Another bomb inside of a present. That's interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no! Well, we have three new enemies. The Red Antoid is a stronger version of the Black Antoid, and the Urban Zombie... Uh, farm Zombie is... Uh, yeah. Red Antoid, stronger version of the Black Antoid. Farm Zombie is just a stronger version of the... What's it called? Urban Zombie. I think, yeah. Ugh, forgot about that we were all possessed. I used Fire Beta here, it's just a great thing to use. I'm kinda happy that Ness didn't that happen because yeah. Honestly, this is a kind of easy area. There's a couple hard enemies here. But for the most part, this is a fairly forgiving area. I would recommend conserving your PP as much as you can. Just because I don't know, it's useful, and PP is always useful, specifically for Ness. Ness gained the level! Whee! Uh, offense went up by three, speed went up by one, guts went up by three, vitality went up by three, IQ went up by one, luck went up by one, maximum HP went up by 44, maximum PP went up by five. Healing beta, finally! Paula's level is now 20. Offense went up by three, speed went up by two, vitality went up by one, IQ went up by two, luck went up by two, maximum HP went up by ten, maximum PP went up by nine. I think we can finally cure possession? No. With healing beta, you can finally, um, you can finally cure poison. So that's cool. So if you ever wanted to cure poison, now you can. Which is very useful considering zombie dogs are in the area and they can use poison, which is annoying. And poison is my least favorite. Ah, uh, that's a... No! <laughs> Don't run from battles, kids. I was trying to avoid this enemy. Okay, great. I don't care. Red ant. <sighs> ant toy. We. <laughs> Armored frogs are tough. I'm not gonna lie. They're absurdly strong, but they are incredibly weak to freeze. So I would highly, highly recommend you use that. It is their weakness. Use it against them. They can kill them in one hit. Freeze beta. Oh god, Paula is weak. I'm like just now realizing how truly weak Paula is. It's kind of sad, I guess. I'm this is not going well. Oh god. Oh no. Good. Oh, I forgot that Ness is homesick! This is a really bad thing. Okay, shut up, Ness. Stop having emotions. It's not allowed. You're not allowed to have emotions. Murder the ant. Just kill the thing in cold blood and move on with your life, you stupid child. <laughs> I'm a good person. <laughs> I'm an A-plus quality human being, folks. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? I think... Oh my god, this is a long area. Uh, protein drink. Yeah. Alright. Little bit of a thing. In... In Japan, a lot of the stuff that's like protein drinks or frappuccinos is alcohol. So, and that's obviously not, you know, a thing in the West, or at least not in kids' games. Bottle Rocket, give that right to Jeff. Because Jeff is, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Jeff is the only person who can use Bottle Rockets. 
So you want to you wanna throw as many of them on Jeff as possible, because they are very good items. I believe there's another enemy right here, actually. We've come across all of but one of the enemies. But this is the Violent Roach. A fairly, I guess, well-known enemy from Earthbound, I guess. It's not that strong and not that special. It can, It's very weak, it can spread its wings and paralyze you, and it can just normally attack. It's surprisingly, a, it's a simple, easy enemy, but whatever. It's, it's whatever, it can easily be taken down. It's decent experience fodder, it's not great, but it's decent. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend grinding here, they're just kind of a little roadblock. I, I like, I like this area a lot. It's great. To any Earthbound fan who knows what this is, please be excited, because now we're here. And this is easily one of the best areas in the game. We feel groove! Hi-ho, be Mr. Saturn! This all- this place all are Mr. Saturn! Welcome to Saturn Valley, folks. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why, but every single time I come into this room, just the- just- This guy, staring into your soul from a trash can, will forever make me laugh, because it is funny. Look into his cold, dead eyes, folks. I am Dr. Saturn. Zoom! And I can repair your body. Boing! Do you want me to operate on you, Ding? You all fixed up. Goody, boing! Dr. Saturn there is a very rare instance of a character being named in the North American version that was not named in Japan. I mean, I, it's actually kind of obvious why he was renamed here to make it more clear what he does, but I, 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 like, I like the name change. There hasn't been a lot of poor localization here. Rust Promoter. Do we? I don't think we went over that. A Rust Promoter does higher damage to mechanical enemies. We have not come across many of those yet, so it's been kind of useless. Once upon a time, we were many, many. So every day, slowly, are less, less. Hmm. Why? Boing! This is the stuff I have to put up with. I'm sorry, but I, I love this area. It is an inn or inn. Hotel. We can call our dad. I'm gonna call Ness's. Do wait, I don't think I need to. Call uh da 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 record, please record. Well, I'm recording. Am I Am I just perpetually saving? That was a really bad joke. <laughs> oh no. Status. Oh right. So homesickness is an interesting thing that I should probably mention. Dr. Saturn, for some unexplained reason. Are you kidding me? No, 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 I have to know this. Is that actually a spawn point? That is torturous! Look at that! <sighs> Whatever. Dr. Saturn, I don't know why I came back out here. Probably to, probably to go to Dr. Saturn. Dr. Saturn can cure homesickness with no, while no other hospital can. It's pretty great. And you do have free healing here. It's not going to be useful until we get something later on, but we do have free healing. Do you want slumber? K.O. I love Mr. Saturn. Broken Iron! The Slime Generator! Ooh! So that's our first example of Jeff fixing things, and I'm gonna read the description here. The Slime Generator. Help! Items for Jeff. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from using... using... drugs, apparently. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I... I don't know why, but I... like, this week I've just lost all comprehension of the English language. I've been like, Hey, what's up? I was doing it. Oh, God. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now. Zoom! I give you on the way back. Boing! Bye later. Base secret. Base behind grapefruit falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say, say password, then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Three whole minutes. I thought, I thought the game just crashed. I was like, oh, God. Scary, scary guy, boing, grapefruit falls. Scary, scary, sick barfy. Go ahead, go and la la la, ding, scary. <laughs> what? I love this cliff. It's just completely pointless. Also, I love Mr. Saturn's design. I just great. So, boy, you have $380. We trade secret herb. Yes. This is where I want to buy a secret herb from the weird Mr. Saturn that's living in a cave. Secret herb. So, boing, you have $1,780. We trade Horn of Life. Horns of Life are... I, I, X 
exposition, a lot of, uh, not exposition, a lot of information, sorry. Horns of Life are great items. They recover, they're like cups of life noodles, except they recover all of your party members, not all of them, one of your party members up to full HP. Mr. Saturn's just doing some bug watching in the corner there. Can we fight that enemy now? Three to zombie full. I saw bad stink behind falls. Zoom! Oh, God. I love these guys so much. Uh, I'm gonna go into here, because I believe this is a shop. I was right. I, I don't know why I say, I believe this is. I know it is. What do you sell? Hi, hi. You come buying. You can sell, too. Hi, Mr. Saturn. Boing! Can do all for you. What do you want, Zoom? What are you buying, Zoom? Insecticide spray, we've already seen, does higher damage against bugs. Stag beetle can paralyze an enemy, refreshing herb clear status effects. Peanut cheese bar is a life rec uh, recovery item, point of life, we've already seen. Secret herb, we already know what that does. And picture postcard, I don't know what that does. Nothing else that we need. We need this. So I'm actually going to take out probably almost all, yeah, like 5,000. We, we can go on a bit of a spending spree. Because I, we need, we need a lot of things. Hi, hi, you can buy, you can sell too. I'm Mr. Saturn. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We already read this dialogue from the last guy. Bionic Slingshot. I think I've already mentioned this, but Slingshots and Yo-Yos are much higher than we can all ever get, but they're inaccurate. Silver Bracelet and the Red Ribbon for Paula. I'm obviously going to grab that for Paula. Throw that on Paula. I, uh, Paula, 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 all Paula. Yes, uh, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy a... Uh, I'm gonna buy a silver bracelet for both Ness and. Ugh. No! Alright, well, whatever. Jeff can carry it. I'm gonna buy the silver bracelet for Jeff. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Si <clears throat> I don't know why I keep doing this. Uh, yes, I'm gonna sell. Copper bracelet for Ness. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, yes, I would like a silver bracelet and throw that on Ness. Silver bracelet, have it, have it, have it, have it. Equip here, yes. Wow! I'm gonna sell some other things for Ness because I think we already. No, that's a travel charm. Travel charm? The most we pay for that is $30. Okay, on you? Yes. Oh, thank you. Is there anything else Zoom Elf need? Yes. What are you buying? Great charm. Paula already has a great charm, I believe. We found that in. Wow, that was a fantastic item there. We need a great charm for Jeff. Which one of you will carry this burden? Throw it on the Jeff man. Oop. I don't need anything else, and that was good. Now, if you are... Ugh. Why do I keep doing this? I just keep freaking smashing the A button. Deposit. $634. Oh, yeah, boy. I would recommend, at least at this point in the game, not to carry money on you, because you're probably going to die a lot, especially if you're new to Earthbound. I wouldn't recommend it, but you always can. I don't think there's anything else around. Got lots of, lots of friends! Haha, <laughs> no, I don't. Taking behind falls. Why? Why? Boing! I think that's everything in Saturn Valley. I was not expecting to do that that easily. Alrighty then. No, wait. I think there's one more, like, present or something that we can get. But for the most part, that's everything in Saturn Valley. Why? Why do the magic butterflies keep spawning in the worst places? I'm not going up there to grab that. Yeah, there's some trash cans. Uh, let's see. Sudden Guts Pill. It temporary. That is an item that temporarily raises your guts for a battle. Higher chance of smash attacks. Nee. Uh. Protractor. Useless item, it literally does nothing. Broken spray can. Ugh, Jeff has too much stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. You don't need a bomb, Jeff. You have bottle... I'm full on items, aren't I? Okay. Mm hmm. I want to keep the Franklin badge. Just in general. Soundstone, obviously, we have to keep. Croissant. Nobody's low on HP. I'm going to get rid of the protractor. I don't need it. And for Jeff, I can get rid of the ruler. I want to keep the protractor for something. Also, I'm probably going to get rid of the defense spray. I never use this item. And now I can... Paula, bomb... No, not bomb. Paula, give the... Ah, uh, uh, health. Uh... 
Not the bomb. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Broken spray can you can give to Jeff. That was way too much of a hassle. Gosh. That is everything in Saturn Valley that we can do for now, which is sad. It is always a sad day when you oops, when you need to leave Saturn Valley. But hey, we have Jeff back. He's not, like, dead. Again. <laughs> Jeff, come on. Why you gotta keep dying? I think he's our lowest leveled party member, but that's fine. Jeff is just gonna die over and over and over. Jeff, please stop dying. That would be really helpful. Just to, Is there gonna be, like, no... Now nah, there's gonna be one right here. I I actually really like these enemies. I think they're I think they're fun enemies. They're fun. I like I just said that. I'm a good commentator. Wee! Left forward and that's Ah yeah, they can solidify enemies and stuff. Jeff! Jeff, you are making up for yourself. Wee! Well, IQ went up by five, luck went up by one, maximum HP went up by one. Luck, did that did IQ just go up by five? That is amazing! That is a really, really good level up! <laughs> Fine, whatever. Oh god, that is a ton of enemies. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna use Rockin'. No, I don't wanna use Rockin'. I'm just gonna bash, because... It's not a good idea to use your PP right now! Because we have a dungeon coming up! Uh, I don't wanna use anything for Jeff, so I'm just gonna shoot. Freeze beta! I believe the those armored frogs have a chance of dropping something. I can't remember what it is, so I'll post it on screen. Isn't editing wonderful? So, uh Wow, Ness does a ton of damage compared to Paula. Oh my god. Ness is easily the highest attacker that we have. Never mind. <laughs> Way to prove me wrong, game. Paula's level is now 21, maximum HP went up by 2, PP went up by 2, offense up alpha. Jeff's level is now 17, offense went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3. That was a garbage level up for both of you, I'm ashamed. There's another enemy, but I don't think we're going to ever get a chance to see it. Hmm. Ah, Photo Man. I like the Photo Man here. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Click. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. And then he flies into the heavens. Mr. Photo Man, we will miss you. <laughs> Sorry. No problem here. No problem here. Right? Say the password. And like Mr. Saturn said, we need to sit here and wait for three minutes. Make yourselves comfy. Um, go get a snack. We're going to be here for a while. So I'm just going to ramble about really stupid stuff for three minutes straight. Let's see how this goes. I mean, I can't have nothing to talk about. I knew this was coming today. And I'm like, oh, like all of school, I was like, come on, man. You're recording this episode today. Just think of something to say, and you just can't think of anything. Isn't that the worst? Here's the problem. The worst thing is you just... That doesn't ever. It's just when you... When you're trying to think of something, and you just can't think of anything to say. So you're trying to, like, tell a joke to someone. Or No, that's another bad thing. When somebody's like, tell me a joke, and then you have no jokes, and you're not funny, and you look like an idiot. I hate that. So it's just, you have nothing to say, and you're just sitting around, and you're trying to think of something to say, and you're making the other person feel incredibly uncomfortable because they don't know what to say either. So it's just this really long, awkward period of dead silence that I hate. Don't you just hate that? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what I was talking about there, but I'm really just trying to make the time go by. Speaking of time, I, <laughs> I wanted to mention this because I like time, and time is interesting to me. Does time exist? No, 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 that's not what I wanted to say. Time, that's a concept for yourself. Daylight savings kind of bothers me because everybody is always saying, oh, we have another extra hour of the day. No, you don't have another extra hour of the day. You are an idiot. What you actually have is you just, the time gets pushed back a little bit. You don't have another hour. It doesn't add a 25th hour to the day. That'd be ridiculous. You absolute idiot. You absolute freaking walnut of a human being. Why do you exist? I hate all of those people. Speaking of which, I hate daylight savings. Daylight savings can die for all I care. It's terrible. I hate it so much. 
quite possibly one of the worst experiences because you're always like either you're either really groggy because you slept in late and you or you're really tired because you have to wake up earlier and then your sleep schedule is all messed up for like a few weeks and then you have to change all the clocks in your house and then you don't like changing the clocks in your house then what if you forget to change the clocks in your house and like your phone doesn't automatically set so you have to change the clock on your phone and then you're completely thrown off for a day which is also the same thing as time zones because if I go Anywhere out of my current time zone, I have no idea what time it is because my phone is off. Don't you just hate that? I despise. Here's the thing. I just apparently hate time. I mean, not like the concept of time, but just daylight savings and all the stupid things we do to time. Think about that. Think about it. Think. Use your mind and think. And speaking of thinking... <laughs> creativity is hard, and thinking of ideas is hard. Which is why I've been doing this for the past two minutes. Whew! That was really good timing. That was rambly. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was fun. That was really fun. In the next episode of Earthbound, we are going to explore this strange-looking factory. I will see you guys then.